Hey everyone, I'm Newbyte, and in this video, I'll compare between OpenGL and DirectX and BlueStacks 5. So as you may know, OpenGL is a cross-platform graphics API, and it's for mobile and for PC. And for DirectX, DirectX is only for Windows. So as you can see, now there, there is compatibility mode and performance mode and graphics under is OpenGL and DirectX. But which one is supposed to be better? Well, let's, let's explain those settings for you real quick. So as you can see, compatibility mode will use, will use a newer version of these APIs and for DirectX, it will be using uh, DirectX 9 for compatibility mode and perform performance mode. I think it will become uh, a bit worse. And for OpenGL, the same thing. A new version for compatibility and a worse one for performance. And as, as you can see for the interface renderer, it does uh, have these things such as OpenGL and DirectX. But what these will do is that these will use interface renderer for this specific uh, for the specific graphics so if you're going to select OpenGL make sure to use OpenGL or else it'll just show black screen if you're going to use OpenGL and your graphics renderer is DirectX same thing for DirectX and for the software uh BlueStax or I don't know what, I don't know what, what it's called the game the game itself will, will be rendering their interface but the best thing you can do is to use auto if you have no idea what you are trying to do. And for the HTC textures, of course, as you may know, the OpenGL will have software decoding and hardware decoding. And software decoding will be using CPU to make those textures. And the hardware decoding will be using GPU to make those textures. So hardware decoding is going to be recommended if you want to have less stuttering for your gameplay. So let's talk about OpenGL. So first of all, the performance mode, it is gonna provide much more FPS than the compatibility mode, but it also uh, has less stuttering than the compatibility mode, which is pretty funny. So I'll do demonstrate to you real quick. So let's go to a game called Standoff 2, where I'll be benchmarking. And now we are in OpenGL with performance mode. And so far, we are now in the practice mode. So the issue with, so the, issue with the OpenGL is whenever you like do anything, you'll of course be experiencing stuttering, which is a very annoying thing to have, of course, because when you are going to like play this game, uh, OpenGL can be helpful if you want to pull out more FPS, but you will be facing stuttering, which is worse, uh, worse thing to happen. It's worse than having lower frame rates that are stable. So OpenGL can be helpful only if you're gonna uh, have a low end PC and you want to have higher frame rates instead of lower frame rates. And for the compel for the compatibility mode, it will make the stuttering become uh, much worse. So let's try to use for uh for, for an assault rifle real quick, and let's try see how how this is gonna go. As you can see, the stuttering is pretty bad when you think of it. Like, if there is any stuttering, it is gonna become worse. And that's not really good, because if you're gonna like hit your shot or anything, the stutter will kick in and you'll miss your shot. So that's not great.
So, I did experience some stuttering. And when I move, of course, there is visible, visible stuttering. So, if you're gonna have higher frame rates to make your gameplay smoother, then use OpenGL. But now, let's check out DirectX. So now we are back, and now we are using DirectX with compatibility mode because I do find this uh, better than performance mode because it it pull out, pulls out more FPS than performance mode and does have less stuttering. So let me pull out a weapon real quick. Alright. So when I move, I do not really notice any stuttering. Like when I walk, I do not really notice any stuttering. And if I'm gonna uh, experience stutter, it is gonna be like very small stuttering that is not gonna be too big of an issue. So it's not really gonna ruin the gameplay by a lot. And also you did notice that uh, my weapon's design did change. So it looks pretty more uh, realistic instead of looking uh, grayish and stuff. It does look more realistic. So now I'm gonna test moving targets once again and start. Of course, you're gonna have less uh, FPS because of Dark X, but Direct, but stuttering is less of an issue because it doesn't uh, kick in much in it, much and if there's gonna be stuttering it's gonna be less uh, bigger than the OpenGL so direct is pretty great for games that have a lot of stuttering and it's pretty recommended if you have like a high-end PC that is already good enough to run like any game, any game at high frame rates. But if you are a low end user, then use OpenGL because maybe you want, maybe you care about FPS more than stuttering. So, as you can see, DirectX uh, is better if you don't want to have uh, more stuttering in your gameplay. But the, draw the drawback over here is you'll have less FPS because of this. But with OpenGL, which is a cross-platform API, it is gonna, ha gonna give you much more FPS than DirectX, but it is gonna cause a lot of stuttering. And this is not good, uh, especially if you are a PC user. So, OpenGL for low-end devices, and if you care about FPS more than stuttering, and DirectX if you are like a, a good uh, good end uh, PC user and you really care about stuttering more than your FPS, then go ahead with DirectX. But here's here's one thing you're gonna note that not every game will work with DirectX because there are some games that are gonna show completely black screen if you're gonna use DirectX but they only work otherwise if you use OpenGL so good luck hopefully my tips hopefully my tips helped you and change your graphics API right now